Good morning, Nakanos. You can see that I set up like a little bit of a classroom in my house. And so today we're gonna to talk about the grocery store game. It's a game that we were playing a lot before we went on to our break from school. So today I'm gonna to show you how to play. And then a little later, we'll show you how to create your own grocery store. If you notice from the number parade, all the numbers are backwards. Oh no, it's okay. Let it go, just like Elsa. It's the best that we can do at the time, so we're just going to roll with it. Jane is going to help me today with the grocery store game, and she's going to be writing down on the board what your child is going to be doing while we shop at the grocery store. So here we go. So you can see I have vegetables on one side and fruits on the other side. We're going to start out with a once upon a time story. Once upon a time, Mrs. Nakano got three broccoli. How many broccoli? Three. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over to my grocery store and I'm going to move it into my fake shopping cart basket. While I'm doing that, Jaina is going to be drawing the circles to show how many broccoli I'm putting in the basket. And then she's going to label. Label means writing the number to match the picture. Here we go. Once upon a time, Mrs. Nakano got three broccoli. One, two, three. So see how we have them all spaced out and everything? So that's so you can actually see how many and not just have to lock it in your brain. So you notice that she's got her three circles up here and she's written her number three. I know it's backwards, I'm sorry. And then she's got a plus sign because she knows that then something's going to happen in our story. So once upon a time, Miss Nakano brought three broccoli. Then she bought two more oranges. So I'm going to get my two oranges here and I'm going to put them in the basket as well. I'm putting them underneath so you can see the difference here. One, two. See how she's drawn her circles to show the proof and then she labeled it again. Now she needs an equals. Equals means the same as and then she's going to solve the problem here to tell the total. Now there's some different strategies for how to solve it. You can just have it memorized in your brain. You can count the circles if you don't count how, how many, or you can use your finger calculator. Put three up, count two more. One, two. So you can see the answer is five on my finger calculator. I'm going to double check it with my circles. One, two, three, four, five. All right, she's got it. And she's not going to draw the circles up above the answer because we already have the proof of what she's done. Okay, so there's our first time. Let's try it again. I'm going to reshelf all my vegetables and we're going to do it once more. This time we're going to shop for carrots. Very important for eyesight. Once upon a time, Miss Nagano got four carrots. And Jana should be drawing on her board too. She's going to do the circles for the four carrots as I put them up there. See, one, two, ooh, it's a flappy carrot. three, four. And again, I'm making it so that she can see all four of the carrots in there. And then she's got her four circles and she labeled. Now she needs a plus because then something's going to happen. Then Miss Nakano got three pears, three pears. So I'm going to get my three pears down here. First, she's going to draw the circles. two, three, and then she's going to label. Label is write the number to match the picture. Then she needs an equals because equal means the same as. Four plus three is the same as same. 
And then she's going to use her strategies, either memorizing or counting the circles or finger calculators. So if she's using her finger calculator, first she's going to put up four, then she's going to count three more. One, two, three. What's her total? Seven. You got it. Let's check to make sure her circles match. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She did it. Great job. Okay, so this is a game that you can use for practicing adding. Um, I wouldn't use any numbers that go into the teen numbers right now. Just use the number that is smaller than 10 as your answer. This is a great way to pay, uh, do math fluency. It's something that you can do at home. You don't need to have a setup like this at all for yourself. You can use paper clips, you can use cereal, anything that you find around the house to make your own grocery store. Have fun adding and I hope you have a great time. Thank you, bye.